So today we're going to go and install the bed. So that's removing all the other mechanisms that were installed in the van that you just have to pull together to make up a very low bed. And, um, you know, cushions and all that kind of things are involved. The bed was really low and the boxes underneath it, the storage boxes, well, they just weren't for storage. On one side, you had like uh, probably six centimetres by 30 centimetres kind of space for storage by about six centimetres tall because the Sergeant electrical system was on that side and the uh, Truma um, boiler was on that side. So there was no storage there. And on the other side, um, obviously you've got the batteries and electrical stuff and there was a tiny bit of a storage compartment in the back there. Enough for getting like the leveling ramps and that kind of stuff in. So um, it just meant that we had no storage for anything we might want to carry. So our plan is that we're going to remove all those kind of like um, mechanisms underneath for making up the bed so we're just going to leave the storage boxes which means then we can put boxes on top of there so that means that we've kind of measured um, the height of the bed to cater for two 35 litre um, really useful box company or something they're called storage boxes from the floor um, and then the bed's going to be just above that what that means is you can get um, pretty much um, four of those boxes down the middle, maybe even six if you squidge them in, plus some camping chairs, camping table, that kind of thing. And then over the top of the side boxes that used to be you know, the bench seats, you can get another four of the storage boxes. So that's eight storage boxes plus space for all sorts of things like barbecues, seats, outdoor tables, pretty much everything we've wanted to carry. Um, since we got the uh, the camper van but I haven't had space to carry it so that's the whole idea behind that one so the dilemma stroke debate we're having now is our mattress is six that and thick. a half inches right let me just um, use this as my pointer <laughs> so that's the kind of line that we thought um, it transposes just from that line on the side there that we go to um, by putting our two by four kind of struts in so the strut top is going to be there um, and then obviously you've gone four inches down but as Mandy pointed out it's only um, a strip so it means that we can still fit the boxes in between the struts which are going to be you know in the center there at the edge there and at the edge there so we still get these boxes in that's fine the problem that we've got now is that the mattress obviously is going to come to there-ish and then when the blinds are up at night you got that and you got to put your pillows on top um and then you get yeah not only that but it pushes in and it can crease them and ruin them so the dilemma is now do we go to the very top of that as our top line with pillows, pillows. <laughs> so my point right now is if mandy does want to do that then she's going to probably want to stack her pillows up on the side so that, oh, we're going, there we go. So, <laughs> come this way, there we go. Um, stack the pillows up on the side so she can actually sort of sit up a little bit in bed. So if we have a bit of perspex that goes to like there and goes across, then you can still get behind it to close that down if you want to do the window, but the perspex is going to keep the pillows in place. I just have another idea while we've been talking. Well, Mandy's idea is. Mandy's idea is, if she's going to read in bed, put the pillows in the middle of the back doors and lie this there. way. And lie this way. Yeah. And then I can have the view Both back views. on either side of the van. Oh, there we go. And then if I want to look out the back windows, I put the pillows here. Because I'm a shorty bum. And the legs will fit across. And I'll fit anyway. I could go diagonally. I told you. <laughs> That's why she's been That's here. That's why we love Mandy. That's why we apparently. love Mandy. <laughs> So scrap all that. I don't want to lose storage space underneath because the whole point of this is for storage. But I also don't want to ruin the blinds and stuff like that. So. That's all we need. All we need. It won't relent on one inch of space. One inch is a lot. That. If I was one inch taller, I'd be six foot. You could walk around and say, my husband's six foot tall. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Or if if that was added to a, another part of my body, I would be above average. 
size. Uh, what? You got shoe size. size yeah, shoe yeah. Size. Let's get playing with wood and stuff, don't we? We hey. Hi. <laughs> So the basic construction of the frame for the bed is a 2x4 um, screwed into the existing um, parts of the van because ultimately we kind of almost don't want to ruin it should that we sell it we can put it back to its almost a reduced condition. So we've screwed in supports at the side, screwed in supports over the wheel arches and then we're basically going to construct our 2x4 frame over those bits. Um, a dual um, span in the middle so two lots of two by four glued and screwed um, and then basically two by fours around the perimeter ends to support the slats yeah you want, you want, we don't want this still warm anyway yeah. don't you? Huh. just about warm just about warm mm. stingy on the icing aren't they yeah i haven't got any more in the cupboard either mm. and next time I want to make it with milk instead of water. Make it more substantial. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. And that's strong enough. That's disconcerting that noise. Yeah, it's only because of that. Yeah. It's not Mandy farting. No, for once. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> you little leg swinging. <laughs> Gotta be tested. Another top tip, if you're ever working on your own and you've got some sort of surface to lay your wood down on, um, put your wood down onto this grippy mat stuff that you can get for like non-slip caravans. Put your wood down on that, flop it over, and then all I've got is uh, the old battery, something nice and weighty. Do that. So that gives you weight, and that is not going anywhere now. If I can cut on that, it's not going in or out, nice and secure. And um, like I say, it's like having somebody hold it and or a vice or something like that, um, if you haven't got that available. So we've been a bit busy. Um, the uh, GoPro camera battery went flat. Um, so uh, <laughs> just kind of cracked on really while it was on charge. So we've got all the framework in now. All sorted out. And I guess now you might be able to see why we said there's a problem. <laughs> because that one and that one are parallel. They all nicely line up. And that one isn't. And that's because the bathroom is much longer than this um, side cupboard here. Um, so it was always the case that this side was longer than that side. Um, but this is the side we're going to use for um, sort of like our head this side. So... Um, pretty much torso area here, so more space, and then just kind of like feet and cooper down that end. You need to get access to those back panels there for um, the lights, so that's why I've left a little bit of access there. So those lights are going to be, uh, you know, for changing bulbs and stuff like that, so those need to be accessed now and again. So that's why uh, those uh, struts are sitting off the back, um, as well as obviously to be able to open the back door. We've been at it now for ooh, eBay. Ooh, some oh yeah, I've been looking at those lights because they've got the DRL LEDs in them. Let's see if I can focus on that. There we go. So yeah, they've got the DRL LED things in them. So yeah, might have to swap the lights over on the van as well. But don't tell Mandy. Um, it should. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. These Joby suction mount things, yeah, no good for a windscreen, no good for a flat surface like a blinking caravan um, skylight. So we did have it stuck up there, on there, and it's fallen off a couple of times. Fortunately, the camera survived, um, but yeah, I wouldn't trust this thing. It's not cheap either, but yeah, not a great investment. So that's worked quite well that you can oppose them like that because what it means is as the shape changes around the van um, it allows you to push them over this way or that way so they're still all leaning within the frame and that's all all right um, but it does mean that you know the changing shapes aren't going to be affected 
so basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to screw down the very end ones on both sides um, on the back there I've got a little cover that I'm going to plate down um, so that's going to hold them down on that side the middle we're just going to leave them free because the weight of the mattress should hold all them down and then as these come back obviously you've got this change in shape here and they just sit more over on that side than they really should do well we did it all finished off quite easier than i thought actually seems like you can just overlap those and then they kind of mold around into the shape that way so yeah not too bad at all fixed it with screws at that end and um you know each end is now fixed in place and then along the side it's got some capping which obviously uh, protects against getting uh, splinters or whatever and um, makes it to uh, hold all the slats in so yeah pretty impressed with that just need to put a mattress on there so that's the bed all finished off now um, it's uh, worked out pretty well we have um, something that sits just underneath the window line for each side um, apart from this side because that's got the door rail system on it um, so that means that uh, that side sits a bit higher um, but we've got a full size standard double bed mattress in there um, and it just pinches in this side here so you can see there where it pinches in and then just kind of squidges in the corner um, but it's still very comfortable and um, there's no lumps or bumps really or anything like that in there you know it's a really comfortable uh, bed and um, it's not too high that you smack your head on the cupboards when you sit up um, or that when you sit in bed um, you don't sort of like hit your head on the ceiling or anything like that so these are the boxes that we've bought um, and like I say it's a 35 litre box capacity um, and it's made by the really useful box company you can stand on them as well which is the next kind of thing of our plan is that we're going to use one of these as a step to get into the bed so these are the boxes and the uh, boxes that i was mentioning that we're going to use underneath there and um, so yeah we can get two of these height wise underneath um, and then like i say what our plans are is that you can then put them in the side like that um, so we can get all our stuff there and the beauty about these boxes as well is not only do they fit perfectly in the middle and two of them is the right height there but when you lift one forward like that it becomes a perfect step to get into the bed for the um for the short person and the furry one so that's the bed all finished off now um really happy with the way that turned out um obviously it's a faff from the start there's no template there's no kind of like um you know plan that you can follow the only thing really is that we had the ikea bed slats um and a way to construct it um now basically you've got to go with what you know on this one so big shout out to mevi for this um mevi's got a fiat jacato also built his bed out of the same kind of stuff that we built ours so really helpful to um, have somebody to talk to to say in the van how did you do this and in the van how did you do that he's got exactly the same van as us like I say even pointed us out to the um the kit he bought from ikea as well to sort it all out and the timber he used and all that kind of stuff as well yeah so a big shout out to Mivy. thanks very much for your help pal so we've got so much more storage underneath now it's just uh brilliant uh, we've been buying a lot more gear to be able to take with us um, obviously we never used to take a barbecue or a fire pit or outside chairs and tables and stuff like that it was always a real pain to take them so yeah that's uh, something that um, we've been buying a, a few bits like that to be able to take them on trips now so yeah can't wait to uh, get all the gear loaded in there and everything like that uh, the bed itself uh, we went again with an ikea mattress on there it's actually the same mattress we have in our bed at home so um just um you know a home from home kind of comfort now which is bloody brilliant just to get in the same bed almost um the little deviations to the weird shape of this bed haven't actually made it uncomfortable um the bed mattress seems to have molded itself into the little bit of a kinky kinky space can i say that um uh, yeah into the kink that is the the space this side which is the fact that the um the bathroom sticks out a little bit further down the van than this side 
uh, which is the wardrobe so that ended up with why we had that little bit of a weird space uh, like i said the mattress is a memory foam mattress so it's filled into that space quite well and once you lie in your bed you can't tell that you know it's a bit of an odd space kinky space <laughs> bedroom is a kinky space uh yeah john blushes whoops so the finishing touches um, underneath I'll do another time and that's going to be the heating system uh, making the covers for the top of those uh, storage boxes as well uh, and just finishing off bits and bobs uh, underneath for the electrics and stuff like that. If you've got any questions about what we've done any kind of like comments or anything like that obviously leave them in the comments section down below and uh, we'll catch it on the next video. So thanks for watching see you soon bye.